Good evening, I'm Luke Clary, and we start tonight with breaking news. Cal Fire crews are working a wildfire near Tracy in San Joaquin County. It's burned nearly 5,000 acres and currently 10% contained. The fire is named the Corral Fire. An evacuation order has been issued due to that grass fire near Tracy. The San Joaquin County Office of Emergency Services urging anyone in the area east of Interstate 580 between Coral Hollow, uh, Corral Hollow Road and South Tracy Boulevard to evacuate immediately. Residents south of Tracy Boulevard are also being asked to evacuate as well. Now, a temporary evacuation site will be located at Large Clover Community Center. ABC 10's Garish Paul Sunga is there now. Garish Paul, what are you seeing? Yeah, Luke, the conditions are not in the fire crew's favor. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but the wind continues to be a, fire, a problem for fire crews as they try to get this fire under control. But you can take a look. All this has happened within the past uh, 15 minutes as this fire is really picking up. And this is very tough terrain for fire crews to go in to be able to battle this fire on the ground. So that is why air resources has been very critical to try to control it. But right now, time is not on their side as the sun should be setting here soon. So they're trying to do as much work to try to get this fire from not moving as fast as possible as they can. So where the fire is burning is in a very steep, dry hills in and around Corral Hollow Road. And earlier we were actually closer to the fire uh, fight, but we weren't able to go live there because just poor cell service. But let's go and show you video of a little bit of what fire. Road and the winds helped the fire jump the road and began burning on the south side. Now, right now, the winds are helping push this fire east, and that is why officials are concerned for the homes east of Interstate 580 and have issued those evacuation warnings and orders. And fire crews battling the fire on the ground and through the air, as I mentioned, at one point they needed more air resources because this fire continued to burn. And now we don't know at this point uh, if the fire has jumped. Uh, Interstate 580, but back out here live, you can see uh, fire uh, crews, Caltrans crews are down there uh, diverting traffic. We're told Interstate 580 is closed between Crow Hollow Road to I-5 in both directions due to the fire, smoke, and zero visibility. So no word on when that is going to reopen. But again, it's just the winds and those dry grasses continue to be a problem here. So uh, we will continue to stay uh, here, provide you any updates when we get it. Reporting live in Tracy, Garge Paul Sunga, ABC 10. Garge Paul, an incredibly active situation there. Remarkable vantage point that you have watching that line of fire make its way up and down those rolling hills. And it's, uh, well, it's difficult to see all of that wind there because that's uh, exactly what you don't want to see for the fire crews. Again, at about 5,000 acres right now, but I imagine that it's grown significantly in the time that we have been on air. Our Garge Paul Sanga starting us off tonight on that breaking news. Thank you. Take a look at this video sent in from a viewer from earlier. Heavy smoke completely covering the sky. Fire officials warning people about reduced visibility and traffic congestion. Again, that fire burning along I-80. It's burned nearly 5,000 acres and is currently 10% contained according to the latest numbers that we've gotten from Cal Fire. And so a reminder to please be careful if you are heading that way. Police just announced that there are currently no evacuation orders for anyone within the city limits of Tracy. All evacuation efforts are currently being concentrated south of the city limits near the intersection of I-580 and Highway 132. They're asking people to call their 911 center to ask about evacuations if you live within those city limits. And we will continue to track this fire. You should definitely stay with us for updates on air and online at abc10.com. And a big reminder that fire season is upon us as these temperatures continue to rise. Be extra careful when mowing fields this summer. Sacramento Metro fire crews containing a four acre grass fire on 16th Street in Rio Linda this morning. Thankfully, no structures were threatened and no injuries were reported. Officials say that the best time to do your yard work is in the morning. The best time to do your weed abatement is in the morning, early morning hours before 10 o'clock, before it really heats up. Our dry grasses are primed and ready to burn. We don't want any spark that potentially could cause a fire and impact those lives and property. In Yolo County, crews responded to a structure fire on Yolo County Road 22. Now, this is west of Esparto last night. Cal Fire says that a 3,000 square foot building 
filled with bee boxes and beeswax went up in flames. A little less than an acre of vegetation also burned there. No injuries were reported in the fire, and the cause of that fire is under investigation. And in an effort to reduce wildfires, Placer County is taking a unique approach by deploying 2,000 goats, including baby goats, to the Dry Creek Community Park. The county says that the goats will munch away at dangerous fire fuels such as weeds, invasive plant species, and tree limbs. This helps create natural fire breaks and will reduce the risk of wildfires spreading to nearby communities. Let's get it over to meteorologist Carly Gomez. These winds have made it a lot more challenging for crews to battle these fires. Definitely. And you know, the interesting part of all of this is this week we've had humidity levels much lower. We were seeing even 20 25% humidity down to 18% earlier this week. We're currently sitting around 40 to 50% humidity, which is right in half in the middle there. We're not too bad, but it's really the winds playing a part in this huge break off for these fires to continue expanding. And I want to focus here on where the area of this fire has been taking place. Notice the strongest winds are really funneling right through that zone there between Tracy and Livermore. We can see that pickup happening. We're looking at current winds. I just checked observations just about two minutes ago, and they were right around 30 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts pushing through that zone right now. And as you can see, peak wind gusts today have been around 20 to 30 in the valley spots, but getting closer toward the Bay Area, about 44 mile per hour wind gusts recorded there, 31 in Fairfield, and that huge flare up near the Tracy Triangle toward Livermore. So that's where we're seeing that fire outbreak currently taking place. And unfortunately, the winds don't look like they're going to be dying down too much, even as we get into the early morning hours. Our traffic map showing that these are the areas that they're closing both sides of the highway to traffic on 580 toward I-5. So keep that in mind. The roads are closed there between Corral Hollow Road toward I-5 as well. So we're going to have to look for alternative routes. Now, this is just a reminder here of the go bag, the five P's as we kick off June and meteorological summer. Remember to people, pets, papers, prescriptions, and photos. You love those memories too. All right, let's talk about preventing a spark. We talked about hearing from fire crews saying maybe mow your lawn early in the morning, but don't do it over dry grass, and especially do not do it if it is still windy outside. We haven't seen these winds picking up into the early morning hours as well. Please watch for dragging vehicle parts. Now, this is all upon us as we start to approach the excessive heat watch for next week. Tuesday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., we are looking at triple-digit heat headed our way. Through tonight, though, we'll see temperatures in the upper 50s with tomorrow a high of about 90 degrees, but winds will still continue to be a factor in this firefight. We'll talk more about that coming up. All right, Carly, we'll check back in with you soon.